guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today is a very, very special video. We are testing a new brand in today's video and that is Merit Beauty. They reached out to me and they wanted to send a couple of products in their line. So I said yes to it. This is not a sponsored video by any means, but if I can get those products to try out for you guys, I'm definitely going to do that. And I am going to give you my 100% honest review for all these products. So if you guys are interested in know how I feel about Merit Beauty, then please keep on watching. So let's start off with the products that they sent out to me. I could definitely select which seven products. The only thing that was mandatory was because they were promoting their lipsticks in their line, which is amazing. <laughs> they wanted me to select two shades of the lipsticks rest everything I could select myself whatever I needed. So these are the products that I selected from their website. All of this came in this beautiful beautiful tan bag which is a very unusual and I love love it. It came in a box but like this. How cute is this? How cute is this? Oh my God, I love it. And all these products are packaged in like a stone gray. It's more of like a blue and a gray mix together. I love the shade that they chose for this because it, I don't know, as soon as I see this shade, this definitely shouts out like clean beauty to me for sure. And it also shouts out that they're keeping it super minimalistic. And that's the whole motto of this Merit Beauty line altogether because they mimic like minimalist clean beauty and they're available in Sephora as well as on MeritBeauty.com. I link both the links in the description box below for you guys to check it out. They have a holistic approach of a clean beauty line that is safe for body, skin and the planet, which I'm all here for. And I absolutely love the meaning behind the brand. In this saturated makeup industry that we are living in, they brand themselves as a luxury brand, which is responsible. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I love the packaging. I love the product packaging too. Like it feels absolutely luxe. So everything in their line would be like absolutely minimalist, nothing like full coverage, nothing like makeup. -y. They really want your skin to shine rather than your makeup to shine. I hope that makes sense to you guys, but you will see in the application by itself how everything looks on my skin. And I'm testing out everything that I chose from their line. So if you guys are ready, let's begin. I'm so excited. The first product that we're gonna try is called The Minimalist. And this is a perfect complexion stick as per them. And this would basically solve the purpose of your foundation as well as concealer. It is two ends, as you can see. <laughs> the top end is where it can lift off and it is like a bullet style packaging. And you can see how small the tip of the foundation is. Now, I want to make sure that you guys know that it comes with a very less amount of product. And this is like 0.13. In any foundations that we normally purchase, it has like a one fluid ounce of product. So I'm assuming that this is going to be like high coverage because it mimics the foundation as well as concealer. But we'll find out. You guys know I do have a lot of like acne scars on my face, not like active acne as per, but we'll find out. It looks a little more on like the deeper side. So as per the shade range, they do have like 20 shades in their line. So I chose this shade buff basically because this was defined as a tan with a neutral undertone, which that's what I am. <laughs> At least that's what I think I am. <laughs> and generally those description products do work out for me. I also feel that you can like use up this product pretty quickly, but let's see. Let's see. Let's do less of the talking and more of doing. Mm, I don't know how this is gonna behave like a concealer as well as foundation because when I'm choosing my foundation, I'm generally like sticking to my skin tone. But when I'm uh, doing my concealer, I go one shade less. So yeah, I, I am hoping that this is enough because it is such a creamy product. I'm hoping that this would be enough. I'm going to take like a round buffing brush. It seems to blend very nicely behind my hands. But let's see, on the face. So it does blend very nicely. 
let's see what the claims are so basically this whole brand's approach is like a minimalist makeup right they want to embrace your own uh, skin and not like your makeup so when people like compliment you they basically want to say that your skin looks really good rather than saying your makeup looks really good if you want like a light light coverage i think this is good would i replace my concealer for this i don't think so let's build it up and see i'm gonna take it where i have the dark circles and i'm also gonna do quite a bit under on my skin just because i have a lot of things to hide so let's see even though they have sent me all these products i'm gonna keep it pretty real it builds super nicely can you see that i had a lot of scars there and it gives a very skin like finish too so that's really good because it can build i can see why they are calling it as a foundation plus concealer you just need to apply this where you have to hide your imperfections which i personally feel like this side looks great according to me i am more of a medium coverage kind of a person so i would say the first layer i was applying it very sparingly just because i didn't know if it's going to be a full coverage product or not but now when i have done like a second layer it matches me perfectly like no doubts in it and before this i only had my brows on and i actually use my nyx uh, brow tint pen in the shade espresso but you can see the difference right this is like with two layers and this was like one layer obviously i've dabbed a lot of things on top of it but you can you can see the difference right so i think building can definitely reach you to like a medium coverage which i am a big fan of so far so good it's very less amount of product that is inside this whole product so i would say if they can give a little more product because it's not like a drugstore price it's definitely a high end brand because this foundation stick is basically 38 so we definitely want to keep that in mind too but if you ask me for the finish and the coverage now i am very very comfortable with it and it looks very very skin like very lightweight on the skin so i'm a big 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 fan of this so this foundation is basically defined as a lightweight hydrating formula that wears throughout the day without settling into your fine lines which would be amazing i'm into my like early 30s so I have quite a bit of fine lines around my eyes and I do not want it to settle underneath it and if it stays true to the claim then I'll be super super happy so we are going to do a wear test till the end of the day and see how it wears right now it's pretty early in the day i would say it's like 10:30 right now so let's see let's see how it goes it also says that it is a buildable light to medium coverage that stays breathable all throughout the day which i would say yes to it does have sea daffodil extract which helps diminish the appearance of the pigmentation and the dark spots fatty acids condition skin and lock in the moisture so i personally feel that it definitely depicts like a skin texture uh it's definitely not matte or it's not like glowy or anything and i personally feel that you do not even require any setting now i because i am more on like the combo oily side i'm just going to set underneath my eyes nothing special i'm just going to take my givenchy powder the prism leaf powder and i'm just going to take a very tiny little bit and just going to set underneath the eyes just because i i generally do set there and i want to give like it a true chance to shine through so nothing much i'm going to just keep it like that so now i feel like everything is like evened out i personally feel that the thing that is missing in their line is like cream bronzer and i think they would excel in that category because they do have cream blushes in their line they don't market it as a cream blush they market this as a flush balm the packaging is like superb like it's so 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 nice it's in like that matte gray packaging with like a golden lettering of their brand merit i actually have two shades with me this one is in the shade beverly hills which appears to be more on that nude pinky peachy side and the other one that i picked out is in the shade cheeky this is more of that mauvey pinky shade 
so yeah i would say even a little bit of berry is also in it so totally two different shades you can use these on your lips also so let's read about this they have five shades in their line there is one shade which is brown in tone i thought that that's not going to show up on me just because my skin tone is more on the tanner side and that was the shade terracotta i think if you are more on the fairer side that would beautifully work for you as like a bronzer shade too but yes let's read what it does it's a microfine pigment powder deposit that touches the color without covering up your natural skin texture. It's a light balmy finish that leaves a long lasting glow that never looks cakey. It's a low weight emollient balm that won't clog your pores and it is also infused with vitamin E for conditioning of the skin. So which one are we going to use? Let's actually try both. I am going to do one on each cheek so that you guys can see the shade. So this one is in the shade Beverly Hills, which is more on the nudie side. And how, how are we gonna apply it? Let's see. Yeah, this, yeah. It's very, very light. So yeah, I think you can definitely go like directly and it does deposit a very, very light amount. And it is quite a little bit of glowy also on the skin. So if you want that glowy finish on the skin, I think this would be great. Although I personally feel that I could have gotten a little more pigment out of it. But if you are again, if you are more on the light, light medium side, I think you would absolutely love it. Or if you are a person who doesn't wear a lot of blush, this would be really good. These are my kind of shades, but I personally feel it could have gotten a little more on the darker side because now I personally feel that this acts like more of a highlighty shade on me rather than giving a lot of color for me. So I, I don't think I can like build it a lot because if I build it, I'm going to look oily by the end of the day. I know that. So that was the shade Beverly Hills on my skin tone. Now let's go to the shade called Cheeky and see how that rolls. Yeah, so see, Cheeky does provide a little more color on me. Let's apply that. Yeah, I personally feel if you are more on like the medium tan skin tone, I think Cheeky would be really good on you. Just because it will deposit a little bit of shade also and it would give that glowy finish on your face too. So since you can see both the sides now applied, this is Beverly Hills. And this is cheeky. Now let me just even out both the sides. I'm just going to apply a little bit cheeky here. And I'm just going to take whatever is left on my brush onto the eye socket too. Just so that everything flows together. I'm just going to pat a tiny little bit on top of it. Just so that everything is like seamless. So that's how everything is looking so far. Now let's move on to the next product. So the next product that we have is basically their mascara. And this is called their Clean Lash Lengthening Mascara. This would be like your go-to mascara for every day, which will help it to tint, lengthen, and lift the lashes with no smudging. So because it is marketed as a lengthening mascara, let's see if it lengthens, if it does give a little bit of volume or not. The bristle is pretty much a standard bristle, I would say. And it's more of a brush tip. It's not uh, of like a plastic tip. I like more on the brush size. So let's see, we'll do before and after. It definitely does separate the lashes without any doubt. But I can I can see why this market this as a lengthening mascara. I can see the lengthening happening, but there's absolutely no volume at all. So if you're looking for volume, I personally feel this is not for you. Uh, it definitely does define it and lengthen it. So you can see before and after. This is before mascara and this is after mascara. Does it do too much to my lashes? I don't think so. But does it separate the lashes and give it a little bit of length? Yes, it does. I'm more of a volume person also. But for like an everyday, I can see like me 
wearing this mascara every day like just for like a zoom meeting in a true sense this is gonna be like a no makeup makeup look where you need like the minimum minimum products to finish off like the whole look so that's how everything is looking with the mascara on. So the rest of the three products that I have with me are all lip products. I have their newest signature lipsticks and I also do have their shade slick. And this is such a beautiful nudie shade right up my alley. So I'm going to first try this by itself. And then if we want, we can apply it on top of the lipstick too. And this is defined as an slick of sheer color infused with rosehip oil and sheer butter for healthy lips all day. They have eight shades in their line and this one is in the shade taupe, which is more of that nudie shade. So let's apply this. It's a perfect doe foot applicator, neither too big nor too small. Very luxe packaging, I would say for this. Ah, perfect shade for me, like perfect. Oh, love it definitely has that oily uh, slickness when i apply it but so comfortable and the shade is lovely this is like my lips but better i can totally see myself using the uh, foundation this lip oil and the shade cheeky for an everyday look that would be like my go-to now i don't even want to take this lip oil off i really don't want to but we have to check out their lipsticks so let's move forward and i would say in a pinch you can definitely apply the blush shade as a lipstick too i'll show it to you and this is the shade cheeky see perfect like so quick so easy and so simple the packaging of these are absolutely luxe like you need to see this so pretty i love that the base is more on the circular side and the cap is more of like a square packaging and the lettering of merit is in like gold and this is more of like a translucent nature so 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 very pretty i love it in this they do have eight shades again in their line the two shades that i have is 1990 and l avenue oh my god look at this it totally looks like a super super luxe lipstick the shade that I really wanted was a baby in 1990 because 1990 is like right up my alley. It's like a cool tone nude shade and uh, baby was more of like, a you know, that cool tone rosy mauve shade, which I am a big fan of. But I instead went on L Avenue just because that's more of like that berry shade. But again, two vampy shades in their line is with me. So we're gonna apply both of them. So while I'm applying, I'll read more about this. It's an hydrating buildable lipstick with a soft satin finish. It is so lightweight, you'll forget you're wearing it. It has plant-derived squalene and sunflower seed oil that provides long-lasting moisture for a comfortable, light-as-air finish. It has papain enzyme, which helps to soothe the lips, and it has vitamin C that helps to diffuse the appearance of fine lines, and the raspberry oil adds moisture and a lightweight, natural scent to it. I love, love this as an everyday shade. Like, I love browns. There's no surprise at all. And this is such a comfortable formula. Definitely not matte, very creamy, very comfortable, not glossy at all. Super comfortable. Moreover, it feels like a lip balm on your lips. I am happy that I went with this shade 1990 instead of slip because I feel like slip would have been uh, definitely on the lighter side as compared to 1990. Love it. Now let's move on to L Avenue. So pretty. And the shade 1990 is defined as a deep brown. And the shade L Avenue is defined as a berry brown. Super, super comfortable. I love it. Now, this is definitely more on the deeper side. So if you are more deeper than me on the skin tone, this would be like a beautiful berry nude on you. And this is the shade L Avenue and you can see because it's like more on the deeper side. I personally would love to apply this with a lip liner because it would give me a little more on the definition on my lips because my lips are not like juicy and pouty. Uh, <laughs> but 
for like a like a polished look and no makeup makeup look i would just dab this like in the center of the lips and just spread it out with my fingers and because it's a clean formula you can apply any of these things on like your cheeks or on your eyes and on your lips like it, it would perform beautifully even the cheek products that looks a lot more on the glowy side i can feel a little bit of tack but i personally feel that it's not that tacky that's gonna see it's not sticking to my hair or anything like that which is always a plus point so that's how my complexion is looking so far and let me give you a final look I'm going to change it to the other lip, which is 1990. And then I'm going to do a wear test. But the next time that you see me, I probably would have a little bit of eyeshadow just because I am going to record another video. I'm not going to touch any of the complexion products, but I might have a little bit of eyeshadow and a little bit of liner. So excuse me for that. <laughs> but I will see you guys in the last check in. Hey guys, so this is going to be my final check in. So I have actually worn this foundation, everything actually for eight hours. It's 6.30 right now. Okay, I have to make a confession pretty quick. <laughs> I did dab that uh, deep color lipstick, which is L Avenue on uh, the center of my lips when I was doing the second video. So yeah, obviously the lipstick would have worn out. <laughs> uh, so I did apply that after eating my lunch. So I do have to confess that. Uh, but after that, I did not touch it and it is pretty pretty much there I would say uh, even after like four hours of wear so talking about the foundation it looks pretty nice to me like you guys tell me uh, doesn't it look like pretty natural I would say it definitely doesn't look like makeupy. I still can see the blush coming through because mind you I'm not wearing any bronzer I just had that foundation and the blush that is it of course I am back with a full eye makeup I'm really sorry if you guys can hear my kids running around. <laughs> cannot help. It's a Saturday and yeah, cannot help. <laughs> They're watching F1 and they are behaving like they are the F1 drivers. Okay, so coming back. <laughs> yeah, I did not powder anywhere on my face except underneath the eyes. And for that reason, I am not even like feeling that I am looking oily. I think I can definitely make it work for next three hours too which is a great amount of like wear test i would say i absolutely would let you guys know on the screen how it wore throughout the day at the end of the day when i sleep till that time i'm going to keep it it's only that i cannot show it to you guys only because the light would not be there and i do not have any artificial lighting around here that's the only reason why am i filming it right now uh, but yes i personally feel that this is going to be like a very good everyday foundation and for like a minimal makeup i personally feel that foundation that blush stick and the lipstick top notch top 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 notch so i'm back with 1990 and a little bit of that lip oil on top of it and i love it i absolutely love it so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this review on merit beauty and i absolutely kept it like 100% real with you guys if you have to ask me my top 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 products from the line I really do love this foundation stick because it does mimic my skin but I also feel like I can run out of it pretty pretty quickly but the finish of this is super and the shade buff is spot on that is the one thing that I would definitely recommend I love love their lipsticks their signature lipsticks and especially Actually, both of them were really good. But if you have to ask me for my everyday life, I would definitely uh, prefer the shade 1990, which I have. But if I have to like spice it up and if I have to go more on like the deeper red side, which absolutely looks amazing with like no makeup makeup look, I would go with L Avenue. But yeah, their signature lipsticks is definitely super. And I also, oh my God, that's such a uh, tough situation because I love both of these products. I love the lip oil. I really do. I really do for an everyday life. But these cheek stains are also really, really good. I personally feel for a multi-purpose use, this would come in super handy because this 
can be your cheek stain it can mimic and highlight it too with a stain on it and also a lip color so i would say this would do maximum amount of things for you the only thing that i was not like blown away by uh, them was the mascara just because i am more of like a volume person and this gives a lot of length you can see that on my eyes but it lacks a little bit of volume but for an everyday use i am pretty sure that i can get use out of this but i won't like recommend to go run and buy it but rest of the things go run and get it <laughs> So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this review. If you did like it, do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below. Have you tried Merit Beauty? They are easily available in Sephora as well as their website. So definitely do check them out. I do have an affiliate link. I'll link it in the description box below for you guys to check it out. You can get 10% off on any of the products on their website. So I'll link it down in the description box below. If you want to use it, definitely do use it. No pressure at all. <laughs> and if you have tested out anything from Merit Beauty, what is your favorite thing from their line? Do leave it down. I really wanted their highlighter balm, but I'm not mad because this blush also performs like a cheek color as well as a highlight so i'm very very happy that i went with these products like believe it or not <laughs> but yes if you did like this video do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys